Fund. while the Alberta BC dispute keeps escalating and Canadians are paying the price. The Trans Mountain expansion is in the national interest because it will create tens of thousands of jobs, add billions to the economy and help fund important social programs. But all of it's at risk because the Prime Minister is on a vanity tour instead of doing his job to champion this federally approved pipeline. What exactly, exactly are the Liberals going to do to get this pipeline built? Honourable Parliament Secretary to the Minister of Natural Resources. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As I said yesterday, the decision we took on Trans Mountain expansion was the right decision based on facts and evidence and what is in the national interest. Last week, the Prime Minister indeed was in Alberta and BC defending this important project. We look forward to working with every province and territory to ensure a strong future for Canadians, but the facts and evidence do not change. This project will diversify our export markets, be built with improved environmental safety, and ensure a strong future for all Canadians. We will not allow any province to impinge the federal jurisdiction over national interests. Thank you. Honourable Member for Lakeland. Mr. Thank Speaker, you. it's just all talk from them. The Natural Resources Minister claims he won't accept any unusual or unnecessary delays, but construction should have started in November. Right. Every day is a delay worth millions of dollars. Every day is a delay worth thousands of jobs. The Liberals know full well all of the tools available to get the Trans Mountain expansion built. If blatant stalling tactics, a full-blown interprovincial trade war, and more than a year without shovels in the ground isn't an unusual or unnecessary delay. What is? Mr. Speaker, as we said, we, ha we approved the Trans Mountain Expansion Project. It was the right decision, and we stand by that decision. Just last week, the Prime Minister was in Alberta and BC defending that decision. That the pipeline will create thousands of good-paying jobs for Canadians, middle-class jobs, which will help grow our economy and get our exports to market. Thank you. For Lakeland. So, Mr. Speaker, the Liberals should actually do something about it. Yeah. Kinder Morgan says the Trans Mountain delays aren't normal or insignificant, and everything is on hold. The attempts to stop this project will just keep coming. The Liberals need to stop repeating the same empty lines like that. Yes. Clearly, federal approval from these Liberals means absolutely nothing. nothing. The Prime Minister just keeps saying this pipeline is going to get built. So can the Minister confirm on what date will construction start? Mr. Speaker, let me be clear. Any decision by the B.C. government to limit the flow of bitumen would be outside of the province's jurisdiction. We approved a federally regulated pipeline. We stand by that decision. The pipeline will create tens of thousands of good-paying jobs across the country. It will help grow our economy. It will help get our oil off the West Coast and into expanded markets. We stand by that decision. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.